Hello guys, welcome back to my Let's Play. This Let's Play is going to be called Let's Play Clash Royale Pushing to Arena 6. So hopefully we might push to Arena 6. If not, it'll be okay. I'll push to it when I'm offline. Currently I'm at 1,598 trophies because I played when, I'm, when I was offline. Like when I was not recording. So yeah, I'll be pushing with this deck again. For one of my battles, I, I, um, like, I wasn't in Arena 6, but I fought someone in Arena 6, so I was in, like, this terrain. So I'll be hopping right into a, right into a battle. Hopefully it doesn't lag on me like last time. Last time this thing crashed on me, like, not crashed, but, in, like, oh, like, right when I was almost done, it just stopped recording everything. I found out a new combo that Hog Riders and Goblins, not Spear Goblins, but like Hog Riders and Goblins is very OP. I just used the Giant Skeleton to get a big, like, a bunch of their troops. And sometimes that happens. I mean, like, sometimes... Like, my hog riders, right when I place my hog riders on top of their troop, my hog rider just dies. I, I just try not to let them get out of the range of my bomb, because the bomb does a lot of damage. At the end of the video, like a Z a stream quarter, I have to um I have to bring down the top bar to stop it, but sometimes it's laggy, so it take a while for me to stop my video. So yeah, the only reason this combo works with hog riders and goblins because goblins is also very quick. So this combo actually works. And the hog rider tanks, obviously, because the hog rider has more HP. Before I recorded, I versed someone against a spawner deck. It was quite hard. By quite hard, I mean it was really hard. But then I won because he spammed, and then I used my giant skeleton to kill a big amount of their troops. And then they died. Since he put it a hog rider, I had to go defen defensively. Because if he didn't, then I wouldn't have to. I bet he's very annoyed about me using the giant spell to kill all his troops. If I don't win now, I'm pretty sure I'm going to win in overtime. If I don't, then... Well, that's quite sad. Well... I usually use Giant Skeleton to counter his Barbarian Hunt, and I had no idea why he did it. Now my minion whore can destroy us, even though I have a bomb. Well, looks like I won. See, this this is a very strong push that works very well. And um, so far in one of my video um from Spectra, I think that's how you pronounce it, the one hour loop. There's a guy named Alex Torres, and yeah, I um I know him. He's from a different school, like next two hours. And here I'm in in Arena Six. But what I don't get is that he does not know how the copyright rule works. Like, if you don't know, you shouldn't go on someone's someone's video and says you're all in it for the copyright. And I know another person named Joel, so no need to lie or anything. Like, if you want to complain, first know the copyright rule. Like, if you don't even know the copyright rule, then don't talk. 
The copyright rule clearly says if you're using something for a different purpose or anything like that, um, you can use it. Like, different purpose. I'm using it for a one hour loop, while the other one is just for three minute long. Different purposes. But then, or you can also use a video or a short part of the video to explain something. And I'm like, I don't really copy it. Like I do, but it doesn't violate any rule. If it does, why haven't you ever wondered? Like all those other one-hour loops haven't been taken down. Can you please think first before you talk? Like you're just embarrassing yourself. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna put an inferno tower right now. Damn that sharp arrow. And I owe nothing. Looks like this level 8 person is very good. Like, he knows what he's doing. I have really no idea what I'm doing. His Infernal Tower is just melting my giant skeleton. Unless I can get my Hog Rider focus. And he still had enough electric for that. Well, I'm just gonna try to defend. Like I, I already know that there's no chance of me winning. So I'm just gonna try defending. Um, or I can try pushing. Wait, no, the die for no tower dies. And it dies. But good thing the hardware went down the way. I'm just gonna try my best to defend. I know he's gonna go for my right tower. Like, I know a lot of people who would if I'm against them. I'm just trying to cycle back to my. to my Inferno Tower, just in case, every time. Every time I must have it, like a different Inferno Tower in my hand. And I won. Like, I didn't really win, but I was successful to defend. And usually, if I go to Builder's Workshop, like last time, I didn't win and I, and I didn't lose. But I just go back to Arena 5. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure he was really mad. So, guys, for the next one hour loot, I'm not sure what I should do. Um, If you have any ideas, leave leave the name of it in the comment. And he has it in front of the Oh, great. Okay, let's just do this. Looks like he won the trade. Whoa, he has a golem? Okay, why is my giant skeleton always following him? Okay, I put a hog right. And this guy's a low way. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose this. And I, he has a mirror. His golem, man, is so OP.
So, this is gonna be a hard battle. So, I'm just gonna try pushing my Valkyrie and my Hog Rider. And if that can't push, then I'm gonna lose. This is gonna be my last battle. I'm gonna end the video off. So, um, I'm very sorry if I don't get anywhere. So, yeah. Um, right now, I'm gonna push my Hog Rider. If you hear someone in the background. Okay. This guy needs to stop mirroring that. That does a lot of like, damage to my tower. Hopefully, I can take it. So, yeah, that's my grandma right there. I'm very... Okay, okay, this guy. This guy, no. No. No, he took... Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. So, right now, it's just all for the right tower. Well, even if I lose, I'm at least happy that I got one tower off this level 8. So, I don't really care. And he has another golem. Great. Golem. Golem for life. Oh, the golem's gonna be an explosion. Dude, Golem's basically a counter to Inferno Tower. Mainly... Okay, this guy. This guy needs to not... Keep his chill, man. This guy just keep on gobbling barreling. Dude. Well, at least he's letting me stuck on my giant skull things. But I'm not sure if I can get his tower now. No. Did I really just meant to do it? Well, good game. So, guys, um, this does it for my video. And right now, you can tell... That I ended off with 1,627 trophy, which is more than I started off with. So this ended out great. Um, the main reason I'm pushing to Arena 7 is because then I'll be very close to Arena 8. So, and once when you reach Arena 8, you can finally buy Legendary. So that's why. And there's the Barbarian in the background. So basically, if you enjoyed this video, please share, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and comment if you haven't yet. Just does it for my video and bye.